on Sagittarius I hope you are doing very well this is the autistic mystic and this is gonna be a reading for April 12th to the 18th 2022 so in this reading Sagittarius if I can even hold these cards correctly uh, we're gonna look at your overall general energy we're gonna look at some things you don't see coming and we're also gonna get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for April 12th to the 18th 2022 Okay, uh, but first and foremost, you are all definitely very welcome here in this space with me, Sagittarius, as we go through this reading. I appreciate you taking the time to check out this reading. Uh, if you find it resonates with you, then definitely smash that like button and also subscribe for future updates. It would be greatly appreciated over here. But uh, either way, let's go ahead and jump into your reading here. We're going to do three shuffles. I've also pre-shuffled some oracle cards that we're going to pull later and... Uh, Give me a moment and we'll see what wants to come through. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Sagittarius. Sagittarius let's lay out these cards and uh, see what we got going on here Wow that's a great overall energy if you ask me but uh, hmm all right Sagittarius so Looking at these cards right here, your opportunity for the 12th to the 18th is the three of wands. So maybe doing a lot of planning here as to what to do next. And you also have your challenge is the queen of pentacles. So uh, either dealing with your own money issues or some sort of female in your life who kind of is maybe giving you financial difficulties or concerns in some way shape or form so let's start off for you sagittarius in your uh, overall general energy for the 12th to the 18th you have the death card you have the hermit card and you also have the sun card so three major arcana cards this week something this week is very you're almost shifting lifelines completely right when you have we have the death card to the hermit card and the, the thing that I love about this transition, this big shift in your life, is the Sun card is here, which dampens down the negative qualities of these cards and brings out the best in these cards and the whole reading, actually. So, but especially in the overall energy, Sagittarius. So that shows me that there, for some of you, you could be leaving behind a certain job. Um, I sense there's a big shift in your career, no matter who you are. Like if you own your own business, there could be a major new version of yourself that you're stepping up into that you know you have to do but it's just a little bit scary but it just feels right overall for others of you though you may be like leaving one one job and going into kind of what makes you feel happy no matter who you are uh sagittarius you're letting go of something and you're really asking yourself deeper questions with the hermit card about how to move into your own happiness so i'd I like to see this we're going to clarify in a sec but what you don't see coming here this week you have the four of pentacles the world and also the five of cups okay uh very interesting here energy the world card is to confirm what you don't see coming um th there, there's some sort of ending here it could have to do with a relationship with you and someone it could be uh, it could be a relationship and you're maybe sacrificing something for your own individual happiness the advice from your spirit guides is to not worry about other people right now sagittarius and i know that sounds extreme but you, you could be having conflict with someone related to your work or it's for for a lot of you it's your love love life the four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are kind of staring at each other right here and this is your challenge i feel a lot of you here could be dealing no matter whether you're the feminine or masculine polarity in a relationship there's someone that you could maybe this is what the ending is and you're more, more focused on your career or there's thoughts of that right because the opportunity the, the three of wands is maybe you're beginning to think of this and what you don't see coming the world to the five of cups um a lot of you like just kind of like growing yourself growing your business um there's kind of like a lot of maybe a little bit of shadow work that you have to do to get to this next level which is fine it's just a natural part of the process what is what spirit wants to say but for others of you in this kind of relationship thing the death card here 
um, there could be a relationship that kind of ends here this week or, or kind of like you begin to just realize maybe it's the beginning of the end because the three of wands is like the opportunity is pondering, looking out to the future. And we're going to have to clarify that, Sagittarius, but your uh, advice from your spirit guides, the queen of wands, the nine of cups, and also the hanging man here. This is a very, I would say, kind of individualistic energy. The nine of cups here is to make yourself happy first and foremost. Set your desire on what you want to see happen. Move into your happiness. Um, also, the queen of wands here is kind of... Uh, you know, it, it's an interesting energy. I, I think that you're coming more into your own authenticity. And as you do that, you tend to piss people off around you more and more, or you start to recognize incompatibilities, but now you're sinking into it with this hanging man. The hanging man, Sagittarius, is is willingly hanging there. In other words, you are willingly looking at something in your life that is no longer working. And something majorly shifts here, uh, Sagittarius. So I've actually pre-shuffled some of these Oracle uh cards here for you just as some advice for you to embody this week we have uh, awakening presence el moria the universe is with you uh wear a cloak of protection and love and it's very interesting because you also have green tarot which is supreme protection so we have a th theme of protecting your energy sagittarius this week for the 12th to the 18th if you're involved in drama with other people because of this major ending in your life that is necessary but painful uh, wear a cloak of protection make sure you're protecting your energy doing all the things you know you have to do because we all do it in our own way um, but you also have archangel michael here uh, trusting heaven you are safe angels stand close surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur Okay, so that's beautiful. And that's what the Nine of Cups advice is, really. This is the magic card. I think a lot of you Sagittarius, like, you kind of, like, are, like, philosophers. Like, a lot of you, like, like kind of, like, go through life as a philosopher. So make sure you tap into that energy of just kind of, like, making things happen. I, a lot of Sagittarius people I know, they just know how to make shit happen. I'm always like, damn, like, how do they just, like, do that? Um, but also, Green Tara, like, you are protected. Cords are being cut move beyond limitation and trust. And I think that's so funny that that would come out with this major transition you're dealing with. Uh, but let's go ahead and start clarifying a few of these cards. And then we're going to pull, I pre-shuffled more ending cards here. Um, but this week, wow, it's like a lot of, uh, they say like the, the capacity to be enlightened is the, the, the capacity to feel pain. So you're doing things properly is what the universe wants you to let you know, Sagittarius. You're actually doing things very properly. Like you're transmuting pain. You know when to go into pain and you know when to not dwell in it. So like there's a lot of shit that you just like have worked out or like maybe worked on yourself that is now starting to like, uh, like pay off for you, Sagittarius. But I do want to clarify any more relevant information on this death card right here for you and your overall general energy for the 12th to the 18th. Don't get scared about this week because the death to the hermit card, it could be very something simple as just you letting go of a bad habit if it's not a person or an event. But for a lot of you, I do sense that it is what it could be here. Um, but letting go of like a certain thing holding you back from this new this new phase, right? The world, death, it's like major spiritual changing, lifeline shift, alert, alert. But uh I feel there's people that are not on board with it or preventing it, perhaps, that you need to really look at that, that energy connection, um, like people you're dealing with, but, okay, one more here. Why well, is a death card here for Sagittarius? The death card is clarified by the Emperor the emperor um so very possible that this is kind of like a masculine relationship that could be coming to an end sagittarius it could be your partner if you happen to be a female um or it could be a boss at work if this has to do with career um this could this is someone in your life who probably you respect a lot probably has authority so this is a shift in in that like so Ah, there's a lot of weirdness here. It's like there's some, so there's something there's something coming to an end probably with a person either because the emperor is a person card. Also though, for others of you though, if that's not the case, um, death to the emperor. Maybe you're maybe you're having a change in your values. You know, because the emperor does things a certain way. They uh, have a routine. They they live according to structure, they have boundaries. And so there could be a death to that in your life, whether you're losing someone who has that or you're choosing, there could be a conflict in values in, in some sort of way. Does that make sense, Sagittarius, what I'm picking up on? Um, okay, let's also go ahead and and uh, clarify why the uh, 
why this hermit is here as well okay why is the hermit any more about like the information the shadow work you're going to be doing you know what is any more relevant information for sagittarius why is there there's going to be some sort of like gap or like a, a void in your life perhaps for a bit um and like i would say this is like a problem that can be fixed but like the energy around this is like some sort of expansion has run its course in one of your relationships, Sagittarius, with someone. Or it could be the way that you relate to yourself in that disciplined emperor way. Does that make sense? Okay, the Hermit is clarified by the Page of um, Wands here in your overall general energy. So maybe... Uh, it's you're, you're not necessarily going to be going within it's coming through as like because you have the sun here and you have all this happy cards so i don't it's like not the traditional meaning of the hermit like going within but it's like you're going to be doing shadow work as to this new direction you're moving in but you're still going to be having fun page of wands is about expansion um also like the shadow work that you may have to do is become playful with life right that like the hermit to the page of wands is like someone like it, embracing that adventurous spirit that wands energy where you just act on your passion and like sometimes like you have to be honest like what is your passion what is your excitement telling you to do and like sometimes we become entangled in certain careers or relationships that like were at one point part of our passion but we have to remember that you have to be passionate about being passionate instead of just following your passion and if you're passionate about being passionate as a base level vibration that you carry into your life then you can recognize the incompatibilities and stuff like that, right? I guess that's what a lot of you know. So it's about recognizing like a, a deep awareness that maybe hurts, right? The five of cups. Um, okay, why is, let's also see why the five of cups is here. In um, what you don't see coming, any more relevant information on why the five of cups is here? It's like the hanged man, like maybe you're the one who has to initiate some sort of break, some sort of ending, um, some sort of new way of showing up in the world with yourself. Like, I think um, hmm. it's not like that it's unexpected, like someone like dumps you. It's like you're they're the one, like the energy is like you're the one doing the dumping a little bit, which is like sometimes way harder to be honest okay five of cups is clarified by the wheel of fortune oh goodness excuse me here uh that's pretty wild the wheel of fortune sagittarius so this is part of your destiny it's part of a lifeline shift that was meant to occur for you to express more of yourself naturally to go with the direction that you want or you know maybe this is happening to give you a reflection of some things as well you know uh, a divine mirror whatever you're letting go of is is definitely a, like you know that you're doing what you have to do but sometimes when you do what you have to do people don't understand it or it's like maybe there is a recognition but like you like you are where you're meant to be if you're feeling sad this week unexpectedly because of something you're actually in the right spot is what we're saying here okay or what spirit's saying here um queen of pentacles in your challenge as well maybe we'll just clarify that there could be a woman involved here there could be a woman involved queen of pentacles who's also adding to the drama or maybe like the challenge the queen of pentacles and I, the death to the emperor so maybe there's like a some people involved here that's like accumulating energy um the challenge is like maybe just work it out with the person you're working now with don't let other people get involved but let's see you know if maybe you let other people get it you get involved and you make you draw conclusions based on all, other people, yeah, like King of Cups, another person card as I'm saying that, uh, Queen of Pentacles in your challenge. There could be a lot of people around you that are like feeding this fire without you knowing it. This like, this problem that you're letting go of, it's sad, but you're moving in a new direction. Like there's just, I don't know what, I, I'm just, I'm saying what I feel here, Sagittarius. So sometimes it just like, you know, take what you get from that. Okay, um, let's also, also clarify why, why this Nine of Cups is here in um the advice from your spirit guys why is the nine of cups here for sagittarius
Jumper. Okay, uh, the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Judgment card. Exactly what I was feeling. Yeah, there's a deep like let go, some sort of maybe drama with an individual. But you're 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 going. It's Judgment Day. Like you can't run from an issue that you have here with anyone or like with an incompatibility. You can't run from it. It's Judgment Day. Spirit's saying you might as well like jump out of the tower before the tower blows up. Right, Sagittarius. Hanged man. Willingness on your behalf. Queen of Wands. Not really giving a shit sometimes what other people think of you because it's your life at the end of the day and like once again i just feel like this feeling of being trapped like i just feel like this feeling of like i don't know like <laughs> it's weird um okay final oracle cards to pull okay first card abundance potentially what could be causing some of your pain is once again human attachment we have abundance what got you to where you're at abundance thinking uh, don't get pulled down into lack mentality where an, someone or something leaves your life and you're like, they were the one, they're the main, they're the golden goose. Really, they're a pin drop, right? So abundance, it, that sounds cold, but like, like just, I don't know why it's coming through as that it is. Um, within the next few months as well. Uh, so all of this, like, this is like this week, because remember the opportunity three of wands, this could be like a reading of like what's going to happen, but like, Within the next few months, you can you know, expect some sort of finalization from what we're talking about today. You also have choose a new direction in the advice. So choose a new direction. Interesting. You know, this is once again reminding you, like maybe sometimes you have to make these decisions that you don't want to or something that's going to benefit you, your future self rather than the, the self that you are here. So I hope that this resonates. I hope this helps you, Sagittarius. If it does and you want to... Uh, find information on how to book a personal reading with me, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description box underneath this video. You can find all the info about how to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. It's always a pleasure to do that. But either way, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a great week from the 12th to the 18th. Thank you so much. Peace.